Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, King Epic. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, so I just want to give uh, some insight on last night, how it went on Twitch. It went actually amazing. We did peak at like 42 viewers and we stuck around like 35 plus viewers for about a good hour and a half and then my freaking stream messed up and everything. But uh, regardless of the fact, um, I am going to be streaming on Twitch again tonight at 9 p.m. So if you guys can be there again and help me support, uh, well, su support me on Twitch, I'd actually really appreciate that. Um, now let's actually get into the video and what I really wanted to talk about was a card that I feel like nobody, um, I think is just underrated. I know people use it, but I feel like it's underrated and a lot of people um, maybe just don't know how to use it so it's full potential. And... Um, I think, you know, once you actually watch this video, once you actually know how to use it, people will try it out. And, um, you know, something like the detonate charge for the heavy class, uh, you know, when people saw me use it, they started using it and they started to love it. And now I'm talking about the smart iron grenade on the assault class that I feel like a lot of people don't like. They questioned why I was using it. And then, you know, during my streams and stuff, they see why I use a smart iron grenade. And everything over like the thermal detonator and stuff now i will say this the thermal detonator is still a great option in terms of your left card um because the thermal detonator just has way more damage than the smart iron grenade but the main thing i love about the smart iron grenade there's just there's just a couple things that i really love about the smart iron grenade is just the fact that it's able to take out uh turrets in one shot so one shot you basically one shot turrets like crazy um and in terms of vehicle damage it actually destroys vehicle wise like you go right up behind a ATST or AAT any of those type of vehicles and you actually do destroy and take out a good maybe 25 to even 30 percent depending on how their cards are set up on their uh, class now something about the smart iron grenade that you guys might not know is that it actually whenever it impacts a uh, actual trooper it does like explode on impact which is great because you know in terms of actually dealing with uh thermal detonator people can actually get away with it because of the fact that you could just run away from the thermal detonator and not have to worry about it now and in, in, instead of you know with the thermal uh the ions the smart iron grenade people can't run away from it if you throw it right on them now i will say this if you throw it and it misses them then you actually might not be able to uh kill them because of the fact that if you don't get a direct impact it actually stays there now i will say this, this is the other part that i really like about it it basically acts like a trip mine for about 10 seconds you're actually gonna see right here i'm gonna just let this play out right he kills me and boom it explodes as a trip mine so once someone steps over or in the radius of it it actually explodes and a lot a lot of people don't think about that they're like oh man i just used my smart iron grenade now i didn't hit anybody um or whatever but i just put it there because i thought someone was gonna come through there and i just i just left it there as like a little mine but as the higher you upgrade your card it actually goes up to 10 i believe 10 seconds of a, a fuse time so if you think about it it's really easy to get your cards up to uh purple now it's real simple just to get that uh smart iron grenade or whatever other card you have to fully upgrade it and have that fuse time now I will say that some of the drawbacks is that it doesn't have like the full damage like maybe uh, a thermal detonator has. You know, everybody loves thermal detonators. You get like double, triple kills like it's nothing. But I think the thing with the thermal detonator is the fact that you throw it and, you know, turrets can still stay alive and everything. This, where if you're getting turrets spammed by ion turrets, uh, you have a lot of officers on their team, blaster turrets. Um, you just throw this and it can actually pop them and what's actually great about this too is that when you actually uh, Destroy a turret and they're just standing next to it. It does damage to the player So if you destroy like maybe one and the uh, one turret and the person's really low on health or two turrets And there's a couple people next to it You might actually get kills with just throwing your, your smart iron grenade right at the turrets and actually Just blow it up next to them um, now I will say this, you know, you're going to have to get used to it. Of course, you're going to be throwing it and you're just going to be like, oh, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting any kills. You just got to get used to the actual, uh, it's like with any card in this game in terms of like a uh, gadget, I could say, you got to get used to the card. You know, when I was first using the detonate charge, 
I wasn't, you know, mastering it instantly. I still was getting myself killed, <laughs> not throwing it far and everything. So now that you guys know what the smart iron grenade does, it, you know, it just takes out vehicles, it attaches to the floor, um, it takes out uh, turrets, it can take out troopers. You know, just use it correctly, and I think you guys will actually really enjoy using the card. It's a great card. It's something different, too. You know, I know people are, are getting a little bit bored of this game because of the content. No new cards, no new uh, classes or anything, or heroes, or maps, etc. Um, but sometimes you got to switch it around. You know, if, if you want to have fun and everything, you got to explore new things. So definitely explore, you know, this card. Let me know what you guys think about the card down in the comment section below. And just... You know just talk to me in the comment section I want to know what you guys actually think about this or if you actually been using it and or just recently just found it and you're like wow this actually this card's actually really fun to use and actually um, is very good objective wise team based wise and everything like that so uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe um, if you guys can please make sure you're there at 9 p.m. Eastern time on my twitch and it would help me out a lot so we can actually get those viewers up all right peace out guys